Hello, some friends, and we are back with a review of the architect homes, and this is of the houseboats and the apartments. So here is the first houseboat. This houseboat, I believe, is a repeat um, from one that we've had before. We got that gray sofa. Um, you get the holiday high-rise bed and those lamps. And then also you get this white stereo. And also in the bathroom, you do get the hand dryer and everything else. Um, up here you have, you have the bookshelves and, and the party house couch. Now, out here, it's really pretty with the greenery. I like that. Um, you know, they have a washer and dryer in that room. And up here, where's the kitchen? It, it's a small kitchen. There really isn't anything this special about it. Um, and here is this houseboat. This houseboat is a little bit more busy than the last one. It just seems like things are just placed randomly. Um, you're not getting too many newer items. Um... Yeah, there's not too many newer items. You have a villa bed, which, you know, which we always have in architect homes. And, the f and that mirror from the chic event. So there's not too much up here at all. Oh, you get that gray couch. But the layout of this, I don't really like it. But... Honestly, I don't really like the layouts of any of the houseboats. So, I mean, I mean, there's only so much that you're able, able to do with them, but I'm sorry. And here is the first apartment. This one is a repeat of one that we've had before. Are they all repeats? Because this one is an exact repeat of one that we've had before. Same, same items, same everything. It's just, you know, it's just a recycled, um, you know, architect home. So just have a look at the inventory and see what you may or may not have. Um, because usually in repeats, I don't really go over the inventory because I have been here before. Um, when you go up the stairs, yeah, this is definitely a repeat. You get the water cooler and the exercise bike. And that thing from the... And the hookah thing. And then a bedroom. And then a spa area, which is essential in all houses. The layout is okay. Here is this houseboat. And... And this is pretty cool. They've made it into a club. So that's pretty cool. You have the bathroom right, right here. Um, you, you have the places to sit. Um, and you get those rugs. Those rugs are really pretty. And, 
Yeah, it's essentially all of the same things, like, all throughout. And then here's a dance floor with, you know, with the karaoke machine. And then run in some couches to you relax on. So that's pretty cool. And here's the upstairs. Um, you have an overlook um, onto, you know, onto the first floor. The upstairs looks like just a bar area. You can sit and relax. You have those rugs again. Um, the outdoor stools. So this is pretty cool. You have an office over there, which, you know, belongs to the owner. And then you have a pool table over here. So, so this layout is not bad for a club. But I kind of like it. Would I build it? No. It's expensive. But, you know, but... I mean, but it's an awesome idea for a club. So overall, I wasn't impressed with this round of architect homes, especially in the inventory part. You don't get what you're paying for in these homes. They're very expensive. And I really feel like you don't get the inventory for what you're paying, you're getting the older in, um, inventory items.